के पे आ गया Well, Kagan, today we bring you some video that will have many of you on the edge of your seat for popular stories, but I must warn, our first story has x-ray images that might make you cringe. Now take a look at these x-rays. A man in China said to be in stable condition after part of a steel bar is removed from his head. The patient was riding his motorcycle when he fell and was impaled by a piece of metal on the ground. It went five centimeters deep into his head, and the 48-year-old suffered some tissue damage to his eye, but the bar narrowly missed piercing his eyeball. Now switching gears, how would you celebrate your 80th birthday? A Pennsylvania man rode his favorite roller coaster 80 times in a row. Fascination with a roller coaster is fun. It's exciting, and it just, well, I don't know how to explain it. It just makes you feel good. He estimates he's taken some 4,700 rides on the Jackrabbit coaster. His maiden voyage was back in 1958. Now, this looks like something out of an action movie, but it's actually a real-life stunt where two trucks hurtle down the highway while a woman walks on a nylon line between the two of them. And this is while they barrel towards a tunnel. Who is this woman? This is Faith Dickey, and she's doing what stunt devils call slacklining. It's like walking a tightrope, only slack and bouncy. I've highlined on longer lines, and I've highlined in harsher winds, but I've never slacklined moving forward before. She's the women's world record holder in various categories of slacklining, which is why they got her for this, what's called the ballerina stunt for a Volvo truck advertisement. trucks headed for the tunnel at a top speed of about 50 miles per hour. You can watch that again by visiting us on Twitter. I'll post it on my account where you can find me at Bianca underscore KTSM. And that's what's trending now for Tuesday, live in the News Center, Bianca Cervantes, News Channel 9. All right. And